Today you get to hear from one of our global workers or missionaries and she has a great story she wants to share with you. Since 2003, Dorothy Reed has been serving with World Partners and this is our denomination's mission arm. If you've ever had a chance to meet Dorothy, you know she's one of the warmest, kindest, most generous people you'll ever meet. She has a deep love for God and for kids and that's really what initially drew her to serve in Romania. In Romania, she helps build up teams of children's workers so that as many children as possible can come to know Jesus. After many years of this as her primary focus, God asked her to expand her mission to include widows and shut-ins. Along with this, she also is very active in her local church, leading worship, helping with Sunday school, doing after-school programs, and even teaching kids music lessons so they can be the next generation of worship leaders. Now I promised you a great story. This is really a modern day version of Loaves and Fishes. Dorothy was given a gift of $2,500. And she, because of her faith and her reliance on God, decided to offer it back to God. And what he did with it is incredible. So listen in as she shares more. Miss Dorothy, it's so great to see you. I get so excited just to see your smiling face and to hear some of the stories that you're going to share with us today. And so I just want to welcome you and just say it's great to see you. Well, it's wonderful to see you and huge greetings to the Crossroads Church family. So good. So Dorothy, for those who maybe are new at our church or they have not had the chance to get to know you, why don't you just briefly introduce yourself, share a little bit about how long you've been, where you are, where you are, and what kind of work you're actually doing when you're out there. Great. Well, I'm working, I've been in Romania since uh, October of 2003, it's hard to believe, and I've been in the southern uh, Oltania, which is down in the southern part of Romania, uh, since actually 2008, so almost 14 years. And my heart has been for children's ministry and working with widows as well as worship. Very good. I know I had a chance to visit you, I think, boy, now has it been about four years? And it was so great to be able to be in your town to meet some of the people at your church and people that you spend time with. Uh, it was such a gift to spend that time with you. So mm -hmm. it's just, it's awesome to see you and connect and just hear more. Now, you and I have been talking quite a bit over the past couple of months, um, just sharing messages. You've been sending me lots of great stories. And this story about one of the widows that you meet with, God has been really doing incredible things with her. And I would love for you to share that story. So can you tell us a little bit about what's going on with Linderlina? Yes. Yeah. So this is a huge thank you to you as a church family, because in the summer, I received a message that the church had sent a love gift. And when the gift came, I remember praying and saying, okay, God, what is this for? What do you want to do with this? And I was driving along one day to go visit this window, widow, Linderlina. And I remember her crying out, Dorothy, I need help with my roof. It's leaking. And I thought, oh, maybe that's what this gift is for. And I had just pulled into her place and she called me into her yard. She says, Dorothy, look at my roof. Can you help me? And I thought, well, Lord, that's confirmation. So we began a process to try to get it fixed. And literally, we just kept running into roadblocks. Everything we tried, we just could not make it go forward. And finally, in the fall, as the rains were beginning, again, she was starting to panic. And one day when I went to her place, I told her, try to get an estimate. How much will it cost to be fixed? So she says, come on. And I got an estimate and I have some news. So she told me, here's how much the estimate to get the roof costs. But I have the possibility to buy a house and the house would cost less than the roof repairs. Well, at first I didn't believe her. How can you possibly buy a house for as the amount that she said? But I called someone else to confirm. And then when I got home, I took the gift that you had sent me and put it in, I converted it to Romanian lei or, or ron, and I couldn't believe it. The amount was enough to buy the house, not enough to pay, repair the roof, but it was enough to get the house, plus a little bit left over. And I was like, God, that is amazing. So we began the process of, you know, the act, the act documents, we got her moved in and us uh, painted and cleaned up her yard and moved her belongings and um yeah then we went to the police and, and then town hall and god did another miracle because once we went in in romania if you have to do anything with documents it's a long drawn out it can be weeks running around and god literally he 
it's a long story. I won't share the whole story, but in that day, he literally in one day gave her the documents and she had everything done and the house was hers. And so we were just praising God and celebrating because it really was a miracle what he did that day. And uh, yeah, she's, so she had lived in a house that was falling apart. Um, she had, she'd lived for years with no water, no electricity, and the house she's in now has both. And what, what was amazing is while we were there moving her, I was with two American friends and Christy took some pictures and she said, Dorothy, look at the foundation of this house. So in, in the villages, sometimes they'll build their house with sticks and then they just fill it in with mud, which you don't see because she had siding on it, but there was a chunk missing at the bottom of the house. And she said, if, you'd, if you had put a roof on, the house would have just collapsed anyways. And so we saw God's timing. And just recently when I was visiting her, she went back to get some of her things. And she said, the roof has fallen in. It's actually because of the rains. And I said, Linda, Lena, look, God got you out just in time. So God is amazing. And I just thank you as a church family, the timing of your gift. I mean, was, I just see God's hand all over it. And she is just so thrilled. She's got such a cozy little house now and it's warm and she's got these conditions now of water and she's got lights and God is so good. So thank you, thank you everyone. Dorothy, that is so amazing. It gives me chills just to hear it again, even though I've heard it a number of times and I've shared it with a number of people. Thank you so much for sharing that. So it's incredible that something that just something small that you set aside um, and so selflessly decided to use on someone else was able to purchase a home like that just blows my mind. I know it's a completely different context because that would never happen here. <laughs> but not only did she get a home, but now it's safe in terms of like the roof isn't going to come in. It has access to water and it's it's hers, like she owns it. And we have these great pictures and images of her sh showing her title with yeah. such pride, like it is her house. That is exactly. such, it, it blows my mind. And I'm so grateful that we get to hear this story because it just gives us just another view of how incredible God is. And I just love the joy that you share. Now, you've shared a little bit in terms of with me and with Lindralina, she's currently not someone who would call Jesus her savior. So how do you think, like, do you see any, any openness there? Do you see any, um, how can we be praying for that relationship? Yes. Well, of all my widows and the people I visit, she is the most open. And she talks about, she actually calls me sister now. <laughs> she mm. is very open. She, um, she talks about Christ all the time. And she told me she wants to get baptized in 2021. So let's really pray that, that we'll just have some really good quality times where things where she's lacking in her understanding of what Christ has done, um, that, that the lights will just go on for her. The Holy Spirit will help her really to get that it's nothing to do with anything we've done. It's all what Christ has done. And that she'll just accept that, that eternal life is based on his gift to her. And that she, I, I, I really believe that when she totally understands it, she will just open her heart wide open to receive him. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. And Dorothy, we also want to pray for you because we love you, we care for you, and we wish we could give you hugs and, and be with you and see you. But since that's not the case, how can we be praying for you as a church? Well, I would really appreciate prayer. I've moved into a neighborhood now instead of living in an apartment building. And I would love prayer for that I will be a light in this community, in this neighborhood where God's put me. And in a difficult situation that I'm experiencing, um, that he'll just give me the, the love and the wisdom um, so that his love is shown in the situation with an, another neighbor, um, but that Christ will really be seen in me and that his love will shine for me and that God will do something amazing in this neighborhood. I believe he's put me here for a reason. And so I'm really praying for my neighbors to come to know Christ. That's awesome. Dorothy, it's a joy to see your smile again, just to hear just the excitement and the encouragement that you're giving us. It's so great. So thank you for sharing today. Well, thank you. And big hugs to all of you.